Hidden in the Egypt of today are wonderful tales of the achievements of past civilizations. In the early morning, a light breeze gently disturbs the surface of Lake Karun. 100 kilometers southwest of Cairo, the lake is at the heart of Al-Fayyum, one of Upper Egypt's most fertile regions. Al-Fayyum may look like a desert oasis, but it enjoys a constant supply of fresh water. This water flows from Yusuf's canal that runs from the River Nile. Around 2000 BC, Al-Fayyum was a rich hunting and fishing ground for kings. Why it was so rich and fertile will be revealed in a moment. The area was known as the Kingdom of the Crocodile God. To win protection from the dangerous crocodiles lurking in the Nile and in Lake Karun, you needed to worship Sebek, the Crocodile God. Not only did Yusuf's canal bring waters from the Nile, it brought silt into Lake Karun and deposited it to form a fertile triangle of land. In order to control the flow of water into the lake, the pharaohs of the 12th dynasty, that 17th century BC, had sluices built across the Yusuf canal, probably very similar to those used today. These sluices reduced the water level creating more usable land for agriculture and housing. And the man to thank for completing the colossal project of controlling the flow of these waters is Amenemhet III. Cairo's Egyptian Museum is home to this granite likeness of Amenemhet cloaked in a panther skin. Another statue shows him with offerings of fish, a symbol Wishing to share in the glories and mysteries. 